Here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. What's up, what's up, what's up? You ready to do this? I believe in this crew. I know you guys got it. Come on, teachers. Oh, I'll jump in on that. <laughs> Not too often you see a good teacher robot to start a show. Well, welcome to the classroom. Hey, today it's three students ready to rock against their three favorite teachers from Sankofa Freedom Academy Charter School in the Kensington section of Philadelphia. Hey, everyone's now in the classroom. I'm the boss, and you guys know the drill. I'm giving the students a chance that they say they're smarter than their teachers. Hey, audience, what do you guys think? You ready to see this battle? They are. Hopefully you are at home as well. $500 is on the line. We start today with a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Here we go, guys. Let's gear up. Buzzers in hand, good luck. What war was referred to as the war to end all wars? First one out of the gate here, Brother Curtis. World War II. Free guess here, students. How am I to? 401. Yeah, why not? Take the other one. In golf, a score that is two under par on a hole shares a name with what bird? Elijah? Eagle. Eagle is right, there you go. Extra credit question, let's see, this one's worth double. In Albert Einstein's equation, E equals MC squared, what does the M stand for? Mass. Brother Monday. Mass. Mass is right. Paul Allen is a lesser known co-founder of what computer software company? Brother Wenda. Microsoft. Microsoft is right. Which nursery rhyme and popular lullaby song includes the lyrics, up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky? How about you? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah, absolutely right. You want to sing the rest of it? Don't worry, we'll keep playing. <laughs> Sharks are cartilaginous fish, meaning their skeletons are made of cartilage instead of what? Sister Brenda. Bones. Bones is right. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Vermont? Sister Brenda. VT. VT. What is the name of the famous space telescope that was launched into orbit in April 1990 by a space shuttle? NASA. Zion? NASA. Incorrect. Free guess here, teachers, if you want it. Otherwise, we move on. Brother Wenda? The Hubble. Hubble is right. Gets you up to 60 points on the game. In March, McDonald's famously released as a special green mint milkshake called what? Sister Brenda. Shamrock shake. Yeah, we should go get some right now. Pop quiz is over. We got nothing else to do. Hey, teachers, that gets you guys up to 70 points. Right. Students, you guys are up to 30. That's okay. You put some points on the board there. Nicely done. All right, welcome to the show, students and teachers from Sankofa School in Kensington, home of the Warriors. Your school looks awesome. You guys are ready to rock. What do you say we meet our team members? Hi, my name is Halamata Diawara. I am a 10th grade, and I am the treasurer for student government. Hi, my name is Zaina Diawara. I am a sophomore, and I am a class representative for 10th grade. Hi, my name is Elijah Mitchell. I'm a junior, and I'm a baseball player at Sankofa Freedom Academy. Hello, my name is Curtis Davis. I teach high school history, and I don't even know why these students showed up today. Hi, my name is uh, Sister Brenda, and I am an ESOL teacher at St. Cofer and new, a newlywed. Hi, my name is Zambu Mwende. I teach Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 at St. Cofer, and I love my students so much, which is why it's really going to hurt when we squash y'all today. All right, we're geared up and ready to rock. How am I to? I got to ask you. Seeing your school up there, it's colorful. That thing is awesome. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole school's like that? All the hallways and everything's yeah. painted bright? Yes. Mm -hmm. is that makes making, is that, does that make going to school more fun? It yeah. does. Yes. What's the detention room painted like? I don't go to detention, so I don't know. Oh, there you go. That's exactly the right answer. All right, well, you might today because we're playing detention now. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. 
you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, we're gonna start with the trailing team. Here we go. Students, we go to you guys, and I give you this category as a start off, music theory. Pass. No music players over there? So we're gonna pass it. Ah, here we go. <laughs> when reading music, what is another name for the G clef symbol at the beginning of the staff that indicates the second line from the bottom is G? Man, if you are not an artist here, that's a tough question. Um, yeah, I was looking for a musician. Thank you. Answer? Clef. Oh. <laughs> We're looking for the treble. The treble. Oh. Yeah, if you're not a musician, that was a very tough question. Students, go right past there. You get to knock one of your teachers out of the game. Who's it going to be? Curtis. Brother Curtis. Brother Curtis. <laughs> said with all three in unison like they were a chorus, sending their best friend out of the game. All right, you guys had that one ready to go, didn't you? Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's keep this going. Teachers, category goes over to you. We move into literature. Pass it. Pass it. We're guys. passing it back. In V.E. Schwab's Shades of Magic series, the main character, Kel, has the ability to travel between parallel versions of what city? Let's just say New York. We're going to say New York. It's a good guess. We're looking for London, though. London. London. They didn't know. They took a good guess there, New York. And the pass comes back again <laughs> to bite them. So, guys, what are we doing with it? Halamatsu. Halamatsu. Halamatsu out of attention. the game. They're playing strategy on both sides right now. They're changing up who they're sending. And there we go. Another detention. And we move on. Sonia, Elijah, here we go with your category of sports. We'll take it. Take it. What fairy tale princess is used to describe a team in the NCAA Division I men's basketball tournament that does better than expected? You can talk about it. What fairy tale princess? Uh, Need an answer. Wizards. Incorrect. We were looking for Cinderella oh, right there, a Cinderella crazy. story. And you guys were like, oh, no, we knew that one. All right, couldn't get it done. Teachers, who's it going to be? Elijah? Let's send the whole family. Zayna. Zayna. <laughs> Zayna. We're getting out of there. <laughs> Halamatu and Zayna. OK, leaving Elijah by himself, but that's OK, because the category goes over to you two. You ready? Television. Play. In the TV show Friends, which main character's job was studying dinosaurs? Ross. Ross. Yeah, like, what do you mean? <laughs> of course it's Ross. I watched 18 Ross. hours of it last night on Netflix. Hey, teachers oh, win. They're bye waving bye. goodbye to Elijah. Hey, Brother Curtis, I invite you back, man. Get back over here. He's fresh out of detention. And you guys win the round. Get you up to 110 points. Look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get moving with these guys. They're pumped up, and they should be. You don't go anywhere. The Easels and Art Class are coming up next. This game continues when we get back. <laughs> Digging the pom-poms here, guys. Digging the pom-poms. Welcome back inside the classroom. Look, on the show today is the students and teachers from Sankofa School in Kensington. The teachers just had a big win in detention. Look, they got them up to 110. Students are sitting with 30. Deja, I got to ask you, in an analyst setting, all right, you go to school with these, with these players here. What do you want to say to them right now to get them pumped up? I just want to say that I know y'all got it. I believe in y'all, and let's get fired up. Let's go! That was the nicest thing I've ever heard. Look, we're going to art class next. Elijah's ready to draw. Can they win this thing? Sure. You're believing them? Yes. Listen, we're all on the believe train. Elijah, we're coming for you, man. Get ready to draw. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw. Then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points. And if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances 
but the points mm -hmm. decrease. And now it all comes down to this. Red card or a blue card, Elijah? Blue. Take that, matches your shirt, nice choice. <laughs> you did that on purpose. That's called style, people. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, five seconds starts right now. This guy's on fire right now. All right, that's it. You ready? Yep. Here we go, guys, 10 seconds. What do you draw? Spider web. A spider web is right! Wow! Hey, you know what? That gets you up to 60 points in this game. Nicely done. And now all you can do is hope the teachers don't do as well. You switch spots with Sister Brenda right there. And I'm going to bring you up. Give you your card first. Go ahead and look at that. All right. That's what you're going to draw. I like that you're still smiling after seeing that. You ready? Here you go. Five seconds starts right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It took her three seconds to do that. Then she just smiled at me. Elbow. 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 Elbow is right. That's two 30-second drawings right there. Excuse me, 30-point drawings. Both sides. All right, clearly art class is fantastic at your school, and it's awesome. Good for you guys. Look, I'm going to try to break this up here with a little bit of extra credit before we go to break. Okay, both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer to this question. Here is your extra credit question worth 10 points. What is the collective name for the tallest known grass in the world? Grass. We'll get your mowers out. I'm going to give you the answer right after this. Until then, how about those drawings you guys had? 230 pointers, Elijah. Classroom. Today we have the students and teachers from Sankofa School in Kensington. Teachers, you're in the lead. 140. Students had a big round last round, got up to 60 points. Good for you guys. And before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. What is the collective name for the tallest known grass in the world? Now listen, I may host this show, but I didn't know the answer to this question, and I cannot wait to tell you guys the correct answer here. It is fascinating. But we're going to start with our students. Let's see if you got it right. What'd you say? We went with wheat. Wheat, that was actually a pretty good guess as well. Not right though. <laughs> Brother Curtis. Oh. We went with watergrass. <laughs> I, I don't know what watergrass is, but that could be a great answer too. Here's the answer, ready? Bamboo. I did not even know bamboo was a grass. So you learn things you learn here on the classroom. Look. Nobody gets the extra 10 points there. Scores stay the same. Halamachi, what are we going to do with uh, that $500 when we get to it? We're going to give it to book scholarships for seniors. That's a great place to put it. Someone get the books going in there. All right, well, nicely done. Hopefully you guys can get that. And teachers, Brother Curtis, what are you guys going to do with it? Oh, we're going to give it to our mini-thon. Um, this goes to our pediatric cancer. Yeah, you guys do a mini-thon in school? Yes. Yep. Nice. Full 24 hours? Oh, uh, well, 12. We're going to do 12. 12 hours. <laughs> and by the way, that is a long <laughs> time to be yes. with your students, all right? I know <laughs> yes. what that's mm -hmm. like. Uh, Brother Mene, i got to ask you, too, because uh, for your school, it's you guys go with the brothers, uh, brother and sister approach instead of the Mr. and Mrs. What's that? Where's that come um, from? It's really powerful for us, so we say that it takes a village to raise a, a family, you know? And we really need to show these kids a lot of love and support and we look at each other as family members every yeah. day. So we want to refer to each other as brother and sister instead of having that official title so they know that we love them, we care about them, we always here for them. Well, I'll tell you what, that's what I'm talking about. You would have no idea how much this man cares with all the trash talk he's been talking during commercial breaks. All right, I'll tell you what, we've got a game to play. Let's do it, everybody. Music class is next. Grab your buzzer. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in and correctly answer my question is going to win 10 points for their team. But be careful. If you buzz in and you get it incorrect, your side's locked out. The other side has a free steal and a guess there at the right answer. Okay, let's do this thing with this first question. Name one of the two performers who sing these lyrics in a hit 2018 song. Mike, do your best. Okay, everybody, listen closely on this first one. 
Everybody says, say something that says something. Say something that says something. Say something that says something. I don't want to get caught up in the rhythm of it. Ooh, buzzer stay silent here. That's it on the time. A little better than say something. Say Justin Timberlake and Chris Stapleton is the answer there. I would have accepted either one of those and a collective groan from everyone up here. They knew that one. All right, no points awarded. We stay at 140 to 60 and we move on to this question. What group wraps these lyrics in their 2013 breakout single? All right, here's number two. King of Versace, Medusa, my wifey. My car is Versace. I got stripes on my mozzie. I'm dressing so nicely, they can't even copy. Another hit here. Oh no. You guys gotta get radios in your car. That was Migos. What a jam that was. Yes, I, I'm feeling the same way, students. I'm literally wrapping it in my head right now. I'm like, come on. Hey, Migos, we're sorry. But don't worry, we have one more to clean this up. And I believe in the crew up here. We can do this collectively. What female performer sings these lyrics in a 2019 song collaboration? Good luck, Mike Jarek. Okay, ready for the third one? Well, no matter what, I'm gonna do it. You're the only one of you, baby. That's the fun of you. And I promise that nobody's gonna love you like me. Guys, I'm gonna shut the show down right now. <laughs> Brother Duende, you beat the buzzer? I'm gonna just take a guess out here. Ariana Grande. Incorrect. Students, free guess female performer. Sandal Smith. Zaya, <laughs> yeah! Yes! She got it! Yes! I knew we were gonna get one there. A big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance. Teachers, you're up to 140. Students cut the lead in half, got you to 70. Both teams have a chance to win this thing. We're going to final exam. Okay, here's your topic. It's the final exam. Rabble rousers and renegades. What a topic. I love that. Both teams, three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. You guys will work together. Write down your answers during the commercial break. Here are your questions. Good luck, everybody. 300 possible points. According to English folklore, Robin Hood and his merry men, band of thieves who stole from the rich and gave to the poor, were hiding away in what forest? Question two, rabble rousers, renegades, multiple celebrities, including Millie Bobby Brown, Lizzo, and David Dobrik have done the extremely popular renegade dance challenge on TikTok. What is the name of the rapper who performs the song Lottery used in this challenge? In 1605's gunpowder plot, Guy Fawkes and his fellow conspirators attempted to end the persecution of Roman Catholics by the English government by blowing up what building in London? Three really, really good ones. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock. They're gonna talk about it and hopefully come up with the right answers. Look, these teams want the win. Both sides can taste it. Who's gonna win this thing? Only one team comes out on top. When we come back to the classroom, we put the crown on somebody's head. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. classroom today we have the students and teachers from Sankofa school going head to head teachers you're in the lead right now 140 points to the students 70 but we learned that the topic of the final exam is rabble rousers and renegades and these three students did this yes they like that like that topic now I gave them three questions they're all worth 100 points everybody good luck let's do it according to English folklore Robin Hood and his merry men band of thieves who stole from the rich and gave to the poor were hiding away in what forest? Elijah, you're behind. We start with you. I said Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer I've ever heard on this show. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> Brother Wenda, what did you say? I said Nottingham. That's the area, not the forest. Yeah, the answer figure. was Sherwood Forest. Sherwood. 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 Forest Gump. How do you want to say it? I don't know why I'm crying right now. Let's move on. <laughs> Multiple celebrities, including Millie Bobby Brown, Lizzo, and David Dobrik, have done the extremely popular Renegade Dance Challenge on TikTok. What is the name of the rapper who performs the song Lottery used in this challenge? Students, we'll start with you. Don't say Forrest Gump. You put K Camp. K Camp is right, gets you up to 170. Sister Brenda, you said. Sub <laughs> 80. And you take the lead and go into our third oh, question man. in 1605's. Gunpowder plot. Guy Fawkes and his fellow conspirators attempted to end the persecution of Roman Catholics by the English government by blowing up what building in London? And teachers, you're behind. Get it right or the game is over. We said Parliament. Parliament is right. Yeah. And here we go. This game has come down to this. Students, if you said Parliament, you got $500 check coming your way. What'd you say? Well, we said. Parliament. Parliament! Oh! Students, come back! Oh! Bring the game! Yeah. Taking that $500! Get over here! Oh my gosh! Brothers went that shock! See you next time on the classroom! Yeah.